What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you saw my last video, you would have seen that I had a bit of a mishap at the track last event. Well, I think I figured out what my problem was. So originally we noticed that when my car started going out, like there was just a bunch of liquid kind of in this area of the engine bay right over here. And turns out this little coolant hose connector just decided to break off right inside the hose. So I hopped on FCB Euro and I picked myself up a new piece and I decided since I have all this already torn apart, I might as well start to refresh some things. So I also picked up this little vacuum hose for the fuel injectors. I got a bunch of vacuum line because all the vacuum line inside the car is just kind of degrading. Like if you, if you look at this, it's just like turning to powder and I don't want to have to deal with that later on down the road. So I'm gonna just replace those now. Then I also picked up a valve cover ventilation hose because this old one was literally just falling apart. You can see how bad it's cracking and just putting them next to each other. I don't know if it came stock like this, but this one, like the outer casing is just puffed up and it kind of just looks like a marshmallow. It's kind of fun to squeeze. But along with that, I also got new injector O-rings and I picked up some little gaskets, intake manifold gasket and the throttle body gasket, which is in here. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time right now. I think I have to go to class in like an hour and a half. So for right now, I'm going to work on getting this out and hopefully get the new one back in before I have to go to class. Oh, fuck. Goddamn. Shit. <laughs> Man, I had a feeling that shit was gonna happen. Sick. Sick. Hey. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. Part of it broke off inside. Shit. Hey. Hey, nice. That wasn't too hard. All right, so I got the connector pipe back in, got the hoses all reconnected. It was a bit of a pain getting this thing in. The O-ring over here that connects to the block was just not wanting to go in, but with a little bit of finesse, you'll be able to eventually get in. But I was comparing that pipe to the old pipe, and I noticed that each of the places where hoses connect, they all broke off as I was taking the hoses off. So if you, your E36 is high mileage, then it might be a good idea to replace this as a bit of preventative maintenance, just so you don't have to deal with spraying coolant everywhere and having your car overheat. All right, so I just got back from class. I figure while I still have a little bit of daylight left, I would try and get some parts clean that I'm gonna be putting back into the BMW. Specifically, the intake manifold, and I wanna clean my idle control valve. You can just see on the inside of this intake manifold, there's just tons and tons of carbon build up and I figure with this engine I need as much airflow as I can get out of it. I noticed my idle had been a little bit rough when the car was running before and I noticed you're supposed to be able to hear a little bit of clicking here like here. I got a slightly better condition one you can hear. Should sound like that but this one it just does not want to do anything. And you can see there's a bunch of carbon buildup in here too. So I'm gonna use some carb cleaner, clean all these up, try and get them as clean as possible. And then hopefully they'll come out looking relatively nice. I severely underestimated how much buildup there was inside these ports. I mean, I was able to get like a good chunk of it off, but yeah, as you can see down here, like there's just still a ton of buildup. So I'm probably gonna call it good on that. Yeah, well, control valve is sounding a little bit better. So I mean like, that's cool. All right, it's a new day. And here are the first things on the agenda for the day. I wanna get these vacuum lines replaced on the fuel injectors. I wanna get the O-rings replaced on the fuel injectors. And then I wanna go through, and I wanna start replacing all these vacuum lines. These things are so dry and brittle that they do not wanna move around like at all. I can't even like bend them much to try and get, oh, there we go. Oh. These things do not wanna come off. They've just formed so well to where they sit on the fuel injector so they just don't want to come off. Okay, well the main chunk's off. I just gotta get these extra little pieces off. There we go. That one. Maybe that's the strategy. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Very good. That's a lot better. 
Nice. Alright, well, now that we got all the preliminary stuff done, I guess... I guess it's time to start trying to get this jumbled mess back together. I really don't even remember where half this stuff goes. But you know what? We're just gonna send it. I'm sure it'll get back together at some point. Yeah, it'll just take some trial and error. Oh, damn, look at that shot. You got some cool little, like, lens flare up over here. Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. Where did this even route? I thought it routed up here, but I guess fucking not. Does it go up through here maybe? There's just so much stuff. I just need you to get in the hole back there, please. Get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. Hole, hole, please hole. Hole, fucking. Mm. There we go. <gasps> yes. Yes, okay. Step one complete. Mm, good stuff. Feels good. Good feelings all around. Still not sure if this is where this is supposed to route, but we're gonna do it anyways. So now I get to put in my brand new hose. Love me some new hose. Nice. That new vent hose looks so pretty. He's so pretty. Well, I suppose now that that's out of the way, I should start wiring shit back up. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Not looking forward to this at all. Changing oh. my pocket was enough. I'm like, fuck. Thank goodness I have most of these ones labeled at least. Look like a midget that got stuck inside his car. <laughs> it is pretty funny that I can fit in here, isn't it? Can we film that? Huh? Can we film this part? Oh no, I haven't filmed it right now, actually. <laughs> Inside, yeah. outside looking in. That's what it looks like. I mean, I don't know if that's politically correct. <laughs> I, know, I guess I'm... Oh, thank God that hit the ground. Hey. Thumb putting in work. Alright, it's a new day. I was able to get a pretty good chunk yesterday. Um, I got the lower portion of the intake manifold on. I got a very little bit of the wiring done. The wiring on this car is just so tough because... The wiring goes up underneath the intake manifold and all the wiring is done under there and there's not really any way to do the wiring before you put the intake manifold in because as you can see this little like uh, wiring box like it sends all the wires down below and then all the wires get tucked down below into different sensors and stuff like that. So what I want to try and get done today is get all the wiring done and potentially get the upper portion of the intake manifold on. We're probably not going to get the car started today because I still need to get cool in. I need to bleed the system and everything once this all gets done. But yeah, so that's what we're going to focus on today. Get the wiring done and try and get the intake manifold all put together. we're gonna have to stop for today be back tomorrow I just finished buttoning everything up I just filled up the coolant reservoir to get going with the bleeding and now it's time to give this thing its first start I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous I've never really had to deal with this much wiring on a job before so <sighs> let's give her a try That's not a good start. All right, that kind of sounded to me like a dead battery, so I've got the Fiat hooked up to the BMW, and we're gonna give this thing another try. Oh, sad. Oh, jeez. 
time to move, do some more troubleshooting. All right, so I ended up having to take off the entire upper portion of the intake manifold. Turns out there's a little red wire back there. You guys can see that. Um, apparently that's a second wire that goes over to the power port on the starter. And I just totally didn't even realize it was there. But yeah, that's connected now. So let's try and give this a start. Oh wait, I gotta connect the battery terminal. Okay. Oh jeez. Sounds a little icky. Ah, uh, it cleared up a little bit. All right, so now that that's going, we gotta wait for this to warm up a little bit and bleed this bitch. All right, we've ran into another problem. This little heater module thing is being quite annoying. There's a hose on the underside that hooks up to it with like a little oval connector, and that oval connector is not wanting to stay on. Thankfully, Kellen just deleted his heating system from his car, so he has a leftover one right here. And this little bottom section, this is the little bottom section I'm talking about. This just wants to keep popping off. So uh, I think I might try to put this in real quick. All right, I got the new heater thingy in. Let's go, let's give this a try. Third time's a charm. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Okay, heat on. Okay, okay, okay. Leaks, 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 leaks. I'm not seeing any new leaks from back there. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, cool. I just need to wait for this to heat up and I need to bleed the rest of the system. And then I think I'm gonna drive to Dutch Bros because I really need an energy drink right now after all that. There she goes. Yes, drink up little baby. Drink up. You're doing so good. So I kind of had like an oh shit moment. I looked down here and there's just a bunch of coolant. But I'm pretty sure it's just fluid coming out of the bleeder screw. That's what I'm hoping. Looks like, yeah, there's still air bubbles coming out. So I'm going to let that keep going for a little bit. And hopefully I don't have like... A cracked reservoir or something. Pretty sure I don't. I'm pretty sure it's just a bleeder screw. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a bleeder screw. We're good. I'm so happy this is done with. I've spent way too much time on this. I had to take that thing apart like three separate times. Like, huh. I'm so happy. Bet just got back from taking her for a drive. <clears throat> Didn't overheat. Yeah, Car's running about how I did before. And I'm happy. Honestly, I don't really have much to say about this whole process. Other than I'm just happy that it's over. I can finally drive this car again. I'm excited to be able to take this thing into class because I want to get underneath the car, do a little bolt check and stuff like that. Make sure everything's looking good on the underside. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.